We've got a gourmet chef in the house to whip up a classic cucumber sandwich, but she says this one has a global twist that's perfect for your next tea party or event. I know you're planning a tea party soon, Always. aren't you? I do collect <laughs> teacups, though. I love teacups and teapots. Chef Susie G is here to show us how it's done. Great to have Thanks you. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Tiffany and Molly. It's so, nice to be here on the morning blend. Mm -hmm. I've got to know, what makes somebody a global gourmet chef? Well, I've always been interested in ingredients all over the world, and, you know, in America, we have everything we can find from everywhere in the world. So I've always been um, interested in how ingredients come together. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So, yeah. Okay. So for this um, cucumber sandwich, and for you gardeners out there, most of the people I know growing gardens have cucumbers, and they have run out of ideas on what to do with them. Yeah. So this is your recipe. And for my classic cucumber sandwich with a global twist, I have a key ingredient, which is uh, I use fresh dill. Mm -hmm. Okay, see, I think this is interesting. I'm going to just stop you right there because usually we use dill with cucumbers when we make pickles. The, exactly. The, the dill pickle. It's like the yeah. magic ingredient. That mm -hmm. is exactly. You know, you took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> this oh, you brought is them. the cucumber <laughs> that uh, everybody associates with the dill pickle. Yes. And But we're not going to focus on the... And the, the combination is excellent, mm -hmm. but we're not going to focus on the dill. We're going to okay. use fresh cucumbers. Okay. And for our uh, cucumber sandwich, you can use any kind of cucumber as long as it's not rotten. <laughs> so, <laughs> there you go. You know? now, are these so, those, um, are the little ones there, are they seedless? Are they the, they the do English have ones? little teeny seeds, actually. Okay. Yeah, this is, I have three kinds of cucumbers here. We have the long English cucumber. That was a good one. Works really well. We have these... Persian dill, uh, Persian cucumbers, mm -hmm. which are okay. small and crunchy, and the standard American grocery uh, cucumber, which everyone can find, mm -hmm. which works really well. Okay. And to make the recipe, you need two cups of sliced, peeled cucumbers. All right. Okay, so are we going to put that in the bowl? Yeah, and I'm going to... Okay. I'm going to use a standard American cucumber. Okay, okay. I'll move and this for And one you. thing about cucumbers that everybody needs to know, unless you want your sandwiches soggy, what you need to do is after you peel them and slice them thinly, to let them sit for about 30 minutes. And what I like oh. to do is I like to put my cucumbers in uh, some cheesecloth, and oh. I like to squeeze out the juice, which oh. you can see. Oh, and, and you don't and, injure oh, yeah. the, the vegetable? Oh, no, you take out the liquid so the bread doesn't get soggy. That's a great okay, idea. Oh, I suggest great. saving the liquid, right? I do, I do. And cucumber juice is actually ladies nature's astringent for the face. Huh. I have some Korean girlfriends who use cucumber juice all the time instead of witch hazel. It's great for your face after you cleanse it. It's perfect. All you can, natural. Okay. Yeah, okay. and you can keep it in the uh, refrigerator. Uh, it's great. Perfect. Okay. So to assemble our cucumber sandwiches, mm -hmm. yep. what uh, we're going to do is we're going to take, or I take organic cream cheese, a packet at room temperature. Okay. okay. And then I add a half a cup of chopped fresh dill. Okay. Mm -hmm. A half a cup of chopped onions. Okay. Yum. Greek feta cheese. Okay. Organic. I use honey goat cheese. Oh, oh. honey goat cheese. Oh, yeah. Sounds fantastic. Okay, I've never tried that before. And um, half a cup of sour cream. Okay. Which is, that's, I always eye gauge it. Okay. This is super fat free. Um, you know what? <laughs> I'm on the seafood diet. I see food and I eat it. Exactly. Provided it's good and it's healthy and so Well uh, and all those all those cheeses are organic. Yes. No mystery ingredients. Mm -hmm. you know? yeah. yeah, oh yeah. So you wanna mix up your cheeses first okay. and get it nicely blended and incorporated mm -hmm. before you add your um your your pickles. Okay. So you know so I like all to all mushed up, mushed yeah, up, mush up, and everything really nicely I'm blended. I'm always surprised when I've had cucumber sandwiches how satisfying they are because mm -hmm. you know oftentimes you think they're real light, as you said. There's not, um, they're not real thick generally. They're pretty thin, kind of tea party esque, but they are very satisfying. Is they it are. because of the amount of flavors that go in that really sort of satisfies you? Do you think? I think so, especially with all the cheeses that I put yeah. in. It's it's a it's a sandwich that you want to enjoy your summertime with. It's not a sandwich that you eat on the go. Mm -hmm. And once you have your cheeses mixed in, I add my two cups of cucumbers. Mm -hmm. okay. And then I mix that in 
Okay. And incorporate it really nicely. The color okay. is beautiful. On Isn't that. it nice? I know. And do you suggest when you make tea sandwiches that that you do a shape with the sandwiches? I do. I I also I, what I like to do is I like to um, take a cookie cutter, and if mm -hmm. I can't find a cookie cutter, just use a lid or oh, a glass easy. cup oh, for good your idea. Si yeah. Okay. And it makes you know the cucumber sandwiches really nice, That's and I like perfect. to press. Nice circles. See, look at that. You know, we eat with our eyes, and it's fun when you have nice circles mm -hmm. yeah. of bread, and we can assemble. I use two kinds of bread mm -hmm. for this recipe. Bread. I use honey wheat, and I use dark rye, because yes. I have two kinds from our cucumbers and cream cheeses, and uh, we can make two kinds of sandwiches. Mm -hmm. One, I've often seen it on a rye. Mm -hmm. Oh, and yeah. And that's the way I've, oh, I've seen it most often. Mm -hmm. And so I have some smoked salmon here okay. that I like to add to my rye cucumber sandwiches mm -hmm. and the honey wheat I make plain. So, and you know, the bread crusts, I like to save them. I like to cut them. There's several things we can do with our bread crust. We don't want to waste it. No, right. we don't. So we can, you know, we can chop this up, make drizzle olive oil. Croutons. Croutons, exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or crush it up and make um, bread crumbs. Great Love idea. It. I got to show this over mm -hmm. here because you have the most beautiful tea set here with some beautiful napkins. And here are our tea sandwiches completed here. They're cut in circles. Mm -hmm. And then with the dark rye, now I know you like to do the um, cucumber spread with smoked salmon, which sounds absolutely yum, delicious. Yum. And people can find you on Facebook, Twitter. Twitter, Pinterest, and YouTube, and your website is Global Gourmet Chef SusieG.com. Yeah, making me hungry. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tiffany and Molly. It was a pleasure to be here. Thank nice you to so meet much. You. Thank you. Yeah.